This meeting is being recorded. Good morning, Howard Hanna family of companies. We've got a lot of people joining us today for our, our first town hall of 2022. Good morning, everybody. To... Thanks for being here. We Glad to... that uh, we, we've got... Kate, we've got everybody from the family of companies today was invited. So we've got representation from um, Howard Hanna Brands, Tate, Tucker, um, uh, the uh, I know mortgage company employees. So we've got a, we, we've got uh, everybody across the board in, invited. And and if uh, if some of your friends couldn't join us, or if managers are out there, this is being recorded. And so the education department will share it around. So if it's something that you want to go back to and look at later. Uh, which we always do. And a lot of uh, the town halls, the recordings that we have, we send back out, but we also try to use parts and pieces of them at, at Hannah U, our online education portal, so that they can even be, some of the great topics during the course of the year can be looked at later. So uh, thanks everybody for, for joining us this morning. Toby, we also have a lot of offices that are having watch parties this morning because everyone wants to learn about Hannah Khan. Well, it's so much, the watch party is like the new thing after all these, the virtual awards events in many places and, you know, watch parties, it's part of the new culture of getting people to come into the, the offices and, uh, and reconnect. And hopefully if you are having a watch party that uh, everybody's talking about some new listings that are coming on the market and some buyer needs and matching up some deals as we go into a big weekend, I think it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a big sales weekend this weekend. I just get the sense from talking to agents the last couple of days at, at awards events and so forth. So, I'm just going to give my quick logistics behind uh, the, the whole Zoom, um, what I've become very much known for, uh, <laughs> how to handle Zoom events. So um, just want to remind everyone, I see everyone saying hi in the chat. If you want to say hi to everyone, make sure you just change it to everyone right now. It seems like it's just going to the panelists. If you do have a question, and we are um, obviously the town hall, we're meant to ask questions, please put it in the Q&A. There is a follow-up, Hobie mentioned it will be recorded and sent out. We like to use the, the um, Q&A and type out the answers for everyone and then share that uh, in an FAQ after the fact. So usually if you have a question, someone else has that same question, please um, put that in the Q&A. And good morning, now I see everyone saying good morning to everyone. So I think... Um, that's all that I have for it. Hobie, you mentioned it's being recorded. I'm thinking if there's anything else I need to say or if I'm, I think I'm all done. No, it's great. I got my Tucker mug today. I just got this in the mail. So I'm representing the Indianapolis group. I'll be there next week for their awards event. But uh, so, um, so I think, uh, I, I think we know people are still logging on, but I think uh, just in light of time and everybody's busy schedules, I think um, we'll, we'll probably dive into. And again, today's focus is, is a review of HanaCon. Uh, for many of our agents new to the company, what HanaCon is um, and uh, the history of it. And, and, and a, a little bit of, I know we've sent a lot of messages out promoting it, but today the goal is to, is to hear a little bit more about the education uh, that's going to be provided, the, the, the work hard, play hard atmosphere that'll be there, um, and, uh, and, and just the venue and some of the speakers, and then we'll answer questions that come in. But without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to the, uh, the, the queen of Hannah Khan, the, the inventor, I believe, of Hannah Khan, um, my Aunt Helen. Aunt Helen, good morning. You're on mute, Aunt Helen. Thank you. I was muted by um, either Kate or Leah. Thank you very much, everybody. Good morning. Um, I'm trying to get myself a little changed here. Sorry. Um, but I wanted to just uh, give a little brief history. I did not invent the term Hanacon, by the way. That's from our fabulous marketing department probably six or eight years ago, rather than just coming up with a theme, which we always have, and this year is Stronger Together. But, um, but I would say that the bigger thing is that we... We have had a convention since the 1990s. It started as a one-day event. It was in the fall. Then we moved to a one-day event, including awards and convention, um, in, the, in the early 2000s. And uh, that was in February until about eight years ago, 10 years ago, when we realized the day afterwards in Cleveland, they had 22 inches of snow. And we had um, and we had 18 in Pittsburgh, and we realized that that might be a little difficult for people to get to. So when New York joined our team, we switched it to the fall. 
And it was to be indeed last fall originally. So Hannah Kahn, um, I'm trying to get a broader picture here, I'm sorry, because uh, I don't know if we're gonna put the itinerary up, but let's hold on that if we can, Kate. But um, Hannah Kahn really was a, um, an idea of bringing people together and bringing in great speakers. And we always focused on having great real estate speakers, but in addition to great real estate speakers, we also always had um, our own panels of Howard Hanna team members. And that's really an important component of it. And when we switched to having this as a freestanding entity, HannaCon, uh, we started and we would do it in Pittsburgh and then we would go, we'd alternate to Cleveland every two years because it's a really huge event. Somebody asked a brilliant question, by the way. Is this something that we buy prepackaged? No, HannaCon has always been developed entirely by our team. It is a joint effort between our events, marketing, education, and our senior leadership um, that we customize to us every time. And that's, and you're gonna hear about the education parts of it, but I think it's how we balance education. And then we also balance events and things to do um, for everybody. This is the first time we've also um, involved it with incentive trips for most of our markets. Everyone except Tucker who had just joined us um, has a, a, a reward system in following something we have done of incentive trips since 1988. So it's a big, big, exciting time for all of us. Um, this is the first year that we have ever gone out of market um, and we have gone to Las Vegas because it was the easiest place to get most people to because Hobie said he liked Las Vegas. Um, <laughs> of course, he didn't go out there to look at it, but um, Carlton and myself did. And uh, I don't know who's on the phone, but Pat and Stephanie and Kelly Riley all went. You've probably seen some of our videos from the Venetian. So we had relocation represented, education represented, uh, management represented, and marketing represented to go do the free tour. Um, it, it is an exciting place. I have to tell you that the energy after being down for two years, even in May when I was there, um, and I think everybody else that was there would agree with me, even though it was quieter than usual, Vegas just creates its own excitement around you. Uh, the lobbies, these incredible lobbies at the Venetian, the artwork, the suites, every, you know, the rooms are suites. They're not just rooms. Uh, everything creates an excitement to start with. And I think that's important. There's so much life going on. But part of what we pride ourselves on is doing things to also create excitement for you. So let me just briefly go over a little bit of those questions and a little bit of the um, why we're doing what we're doing. Um, so Tuesday morning, uh, we, we are in the actual convention center at the Venetian. And there will be food stations around for people to buy breakfast if they want, coffee, whatever they need. And then registration begins at 8.30. Now, don't be concerned about registration because some people are, will be pre-registered so there won't be long lines and you'll get through that pretty quickly. And then we start sessions. And those sessions start from day one and Carlton's gonna talk about our education speakers and, and the individual panels and topics. We should tell you, for those of you that are new to us, that after the last convention and then again last year, we sent out a survey to ask people what they wanted, who they wanted to hear from, what the topics were. And so those topics will be addressed throughout with lots of focus on what we've been asked for specifically of listings and um, how to build your market, how to build your brand. And if you read my Monday morning minutes this week, you'll also see that I focus on uh, the panelists and how important they are from learning from each other. And that day goes on all day until afternoon when we go into our general session. We pride ourselves on our general sessions being a lot more than just education. So in the past, we have had uh, a game show when um, all of the Hanna family has appeared playing Family Feud or something. It wasn't Family Feud. I think we paid, um, uh, pardon? What was it? I think it was Hollywood Squares, Helen. Hollywood, Hollywood Squares, Hollywood. thank you. We did Hollywood Squares. Um, Hottie has appeared at Elton John in full regalia and costume once in Cleveland, celebrating the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, people have come out of cannons. People have um, come in on uh, motorcycles, been um, appeared to fly in. They didn't really fly in. And our last one, 
which was a great race car theme. And by the way, if you've ever heard of uh, Chip Ganassi racing, he sold it for a lot of money. Um, he is a friend of ours. So we had real race cars um, throughout the um, convention and people taking their pictures with them. So you don't want to miss the general session because just the opening is going to be spectacular. And because we're in Vegas, it's even more spectacular because it's all Vegas um, entertainment that's going on. Um, and we will give you some highlights. We always have uh, uh, you know, an overview of the future planning for the company that first day, um, some great things from financial services there representing all of our financial services company. And you'll get to meet on stage a lot of the HANA team. And from there, we go to um, Magic Johnson. Now, I have to tell you, when I got this email from a lot of people on the executive committee saying, we wanted Magic Johnson, I was a little bit stunned because I'm not a big basketball person. But, um, but then I looked at his videos. Here is a man who created himself out of nothing into a huge basketball star, just to, you know, to a personality who is you know, timeless. But it's what he has done since that, I think, that will capture your imagination, will um, ignite you to think more, and will motivate you into the future. And again, our, our keynote speakers have always been very uh, exciting, from Terry Bradshaw before he ever came back to speak. In case you don't know, he was a quarterback for the Steelers in the 70s. Um, but, um, and he was one of our favorites. But we've had Design Within Reach do a room on stage. Our very favorite of all, Richard Simmons. You had to be there to get it, but he got all of these guys on stage um, to take off their shirts and you know show what they needed to do in life. But um, but great fun. Um, and Star Jones, our worst. But um, through the years, we've just had great Deborah Searle, who sailed across uh, by herself, sailed across uh, the Atlantic Ocean by herself uh, two years ago. So we have had great speakers, great motivators, and so that's an exciting thing. But then we have a party, which is also our tradition. I think it started with a little champagne and uh, chocolate fountains, and it's now grown into an all-out bash. This year with a world-class, I'm not sure what that means, a world-class karaoke band that is recognized all over the place. I didn't need had live karaoke, but we do. Um, and we have food and drink. And we'll be finished by 8 o'clock. So those of you that want to go to shows, I know some people have already planned to go to Katy Perry. There's lots of shows that night. Those of you that have other plans go. Um, but you don't have to go out to dinner afterwards because there's lots of food, lots of drink, and lots of fun and prizes going on all night. Uh, day two, we start again with those panels and sessions. Um, and day two, we have a lunch. It's um, sort of a free form lunch that we have. So you can grab lunch before that general session. And that general session, that whole day is really dedicated to our brokerage arm. Everything on that day will be brokerage and it'll kick off with Hobie that day in a way you've never seen him and some others in a way you've never seen them. Um, just uh, there's a lot of imagination that has to be required um, in these two days. So um, we hope that you'll enjoy that opening that um, he and the marketing team have developed with our, we do use a national coordinator that does it all, Sundowner, who's been making arrangements, does your rooms, et cetera. Um, and then, um, uh, and, and again, those sessions we don't want you to meet, which is why we have this sort of grab and go lunch so you can eat and learn at the same time. Um, the Vendor Village, which you'll hear more about. We love our Vendor Village where, um, you can buy almost anything on the floor that you want, um, and uh, uh, from real estate to knives. Don't ask me why, but people love Cutco knives, so they're there. Uh, to the famous uh, uh, magnetic jeweled name badges, which also they line up for those. So I think they have a double space this year to accommodate everybody. Um, and then a general session, again, devoted to real estate that afternoon. Um, with some very special speakers that afternoon and closing with Matt Farrar. And so that's really the overview. Again, the second day is always a real estate speaker. Uh, the first day, an outside speaker, but lots of fun as well as lots to learn and lots to grow. So I'm going to turn it over to questions that we have. Oh, I was told to address the dress as somebody's walking into my house to address the dress. The, is, it's business casual for the days, um, for the sessions. I have no idea what that means, but it is business casual. So that means whatever you want to wear for business casual. Um, the evening party, the first night is also, 
Um, sorry. Um, but is also, um, that'll be what you've worn that day. Nobody has to change for that night. We just go straight through. Um, so unless you're, unless you're going out clubbing or something and you want to put on clubbing clothes, uh, you know, um, otherwise we just go straight through and, um, we're all pretty casual for those, uh, except me, cause we know I'm never casual, but, um, and then, um, the next night I was asked about our gala and the gala attire is gala attire. That means today's world, that means no ties for guys unless they want to wear them. Um, but it does mean probably uh, sports jackets or suit. Um, and for women, uh, I think I think I was asked the question, is it cocktail clothes or is it um, evening clothes? And I think it's what you want to wear. I think you'll see a lot of cocktail clothes. This is Vegas, people dress up, but I think you'll see long dresses too. And I don't have any idea what I'm wearing. So I can't tell you that, except it will be cocktail or long, all right? So, uh, but we want you to be comfortable that night too, because that night has more special entertainment. Hobie has to, happens to have a friend who is a um, nationally known comedian, Eddie Ift, who appears all over the country. And um, he will be performing that night. But we also have, going back to um, uh, 2001, um, when nobody ever heard of this little group from Canada called Cirque du Soleil. We have some Cirque du Soleil performers. The audience will be engaged. And, um, and then, of course, we have a, um, a fabulous um, music and dancing to end the night and dinner and drinks. And um, so the event, we have to underwrite a lot of the event, which is okay, but we're so excited. So many people are coming. We're already at about 1500 for the dinner. So we're great. Thanks, Anna. Helen, that is a fantastic overview. So Leah, I'm gonna jump in and just um, mention a couple of things before, um, getting into the detail of the education and getting into um, which Carl Carl uh, is going to give us an update there and, and Kate. And then I know Kathy um, is going to talk about some of the marketing and some of the partners and detail of, of some of the things that will be taking place there. And then and we'll go into some questions and Leo will coordinate that. But one of the um, things I want to say for, especially for folks, because I think we've got a lot of new members to the family. Um, and so some of you haven't been to a, a HannahCon before, and Helen gave a great overview. Uh, a couple of things I want to say. Number one, uh, this is the most attended event we've ever had. Um, yes, we've become a bigger company, but also just looking at the registration count, even if you compare it to past times, it's, it's, it's an incredible number of folks that are joining us. Um, so here's one of the things I say, if you're coming, you know, I don't know real estate agents are ever wallflowers, but this is a great time to meet new people from other markets to increase your referral business. A lot of times people say, what's in it for me? Well, as an agent, you're going to meet some of the best of the best realtors from across the country, um, whether they're at Howard Hanna or our, or our partnered brands as one Hanna family of companies. You're going to hear great ideas from the speakers and we'll hear more about that. Um, you're going to see panels of top agents and, and uh, from across the country on, on really targeted panels that I think that our agents want to hear. We always know that's a big deal. And I truly believe, Carl said this to me the other day, that he was talking to Matthew Ferrara, one of our keynote speakers, who said, looking at the, at the speaker list we've put together, the outside educators that are coming in, Matthew's never seen a national conference with this many speakers that are coming in, coaches, trainers. And if, if you come and you plan your time, um, and between take, take away from the speakers that you'll learn from coupled with at the same time, um, making new connections with referrals, I almost guarantee your business will be up 10% in 2022, just by coming to this conference, just by, by taking the takeaway that's there. Um, the, uh, uh, and so I encourage, even if you are on here thinking about, should I come, should I register? It's not too late. I think the biggest challenge is, is getting your flight there, but at this point in time, but it's not too late registration. You can still come hotel rooms are still there. It'll be a great time. Um, so I really do think it's going to be a great return on investment for all of our agents, loan officers, anybody who's there should have a great takeaway. I mentioned the networking, and that's really going to be important. Um, and, you know, and talk to your state leaders, talk to, give me a call, Helen, if you're coming from different markets, and you want to match up with somebody that's, uh, whether it's meeting somebody that's built a team, whether it's meeting somebody that deals in luxury, like yourself, uh, whether it's somebody who's starting out in your career, and you're looking for other new agents to network on how you're building your business. Uh, there's so much takeaway that beyond the classes, just by connecting uh, different agents within our organization. 
And, um, you know, we're really committed. I, I have to give all credit to the people that I'm going to turn the rest of this over to. This is a seeing Kate and Carl and Kathy and Leah. This is a smattering of a team that probably goes about probably 60 deep or more. So many people that have touched this event to put it together that it wouldn't be together. As Helen said, this isn't a canned event. This really is, um, uh, this really just is um, uh, amazing what's been put together by our team. And so many people from marketing to education, to the state leaders, to regional managers, uh, to feedback and to you, the agents who've given us feedback. Uh, I'm so excited um, to be out there, to celebrate your successes, to help you grow. And um, I don't want to oversell it, but if you've never been to HannahCon and you think you've gone to like a state conference, you think you've gone to something else, a lot of people will say that HannahCon is, is, is the convention on steroids. You will enjoy yourself if, you, if you're with us. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Leah, who I think is going to run us through and moderate and really tap into not only the questions that might be on there, but really getting into what, what can you expect from uh, from education to marketing to uh, uh, event. And oh, last thing, for those of you who are new, this company is a work hard, play hard company and Vegas will be just that. Uh, and Helen says she doesn't know what she's gonna wear, but it'll be green. I can almost guarantee you that. All right, so Leah, back to you. Thanks, Help. Helen does always bring the fashion. That is for sure. Um, you know, Hope, you brought up a really great point that the ROI on this event is if you get one idea that leads you to one new piece of business, you've far exceeded any expense that you have in attending. And you actually are doing yourself a disservice because this is the real estate event of the year if you don't attend, because you're not going to be able to soak up all that information. So um, I'm so excited. I love these Hanacon events. And I can't wait, Carl, to talk about the different speakers that we have. We have so many nationally acclaimed speakers, which I'll say right now, far exceed anything that you've ever had at NAR or any other convention, but it's our own top performing agents from all across our footprint that share their insider tips that make this just priceless um, for an agent and taking your business to the next level. So Carl, give us a little update on some of the different um, speakers that we have coming and give us a sneak preview on what they're going to be talking about. Sure. Let me let me kind of just lay out the education program because the career development team and the education committee are very proud of what we put together. And we're very excited to play off of that theme of, you know, what's the return on your investment with attending? You know, I think you have better odds of, of betting on your business while you're in Vegas than going to a craps table. Um, because if you're really going to the education programs and you're you're trying to get at least two, three things that you could take away from each session and immediately put that into your business, you're gonna get a much better return and you're gonna come back a winner saying, I won big time in Vegas because you're, you're able to put that money back into your business. So we understand that everybody learns differently. And we also understand that people are at different points in their business and they wanna have different takeaways. Some people are more excited and they kind of lean more towards technology. Some people lean towards more skill development. So what we wanted to do is really build out a full robust education program that kind of has six prongs to it. Um, the first is Vendor Village. So Vendor Village is gonna be an onslaught of training. Not only are you gonna be able to get the knives and meet everybody and visit our sponsors, but we also have uh, sponsorships and, and vendors that are gonna be doing presentations such as Moxie, Showing Time, Hannah Health and Wealth, uh, Fidelity, uh, uh, National Title Service. So all of our vendors are gonna have opportunities to come up and they're gonna be teaching you things. I've asked them to make sure that these aren't commercials, that these are our, our training programs and demos of their products that are gonna help everybody in attendance really understand how it could influence their business. And that is gonna be nonstop. So the entire time that Vendor Village is open, those Vendor Village demonstrations are taking place on the main stage. Also to complement that, we have Kate and Kevin Patai who are leading the Greenest Bar. And the Greenest Bar to me is like the coolest thing. Like if you're looking for that meet and greet place, it's the greenest bar in Vendor Village because we have MarTech specialists, we have IT specialists, we have Kate and Kevin. And what they're doing is they have computers set up and they're available to answer all of your questions. 
right? So come and try to stump them. If you ever go to an Apple store, you try to stump them because they're, they're called geniuses. Well, come and try to stump our, our geniuses, ask them questions. They have t-shirts on, you're gonna know who they are. And then there's also constant demos that are taking place. So we just have our demonstrations uh, on a round robin system. Kate has those set up. So there's constantly something going on in the Greenius bar or just ask questions. Um, we have a, a session called Meet the Experts. And that is gonna be the, the, the first kind of breakout session for education on day one. So on Wednesday morning from 9.15 to 10.45, we have a huge room that's just set up with round tables. And at each round table, we are going to have an expert. The experts are gonna be state presidents, people from um, all over Howard Hannon, the family of companies that are experts in different topics. We have almost all of our breakout speakers for the day that are gonna be at a table. And this is speed dating for education. So every 15 minutes, you're gonna be able to pick which table you go to and which expert you wanna hear from. And so they each will have a, 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 a sign that lets you know which topic it is that they're talking on. And we have you know, everything from talking about your taxes, talking about inclusion and diversity, digital marketing, um, building your business in, in various different ways. We're gonna have probably close to 25 or 30 different tables. And every 15 minutes, you're gonna be able to go and be a part of that conversation. So that's the first big introduction to education on day one. Then we get into our breakout session. So on day one, we go from 11 a.m. to 3.30. We have 10 different speakers that are gonna be participating. And one of the things that we've heard from everybody is that they, they hate when they want to see a certain speaker, but it's competing against other speakers and they have to decide. So what I've done is I've asked almost all of our breakout speakers to do multiple sessions for us. So for the bigger name speakers that we have on day one and day two, they're going to be running two or three sessions. So this way it kind of helps you coordinate your schedule a little bit. Um, and we are going to have four one hour sessions from 11 to 3.30. Day two, we go from nine to 1.30. We have 11 speakers set up. And again, four one hour sessions that you're gonna be able to hop in and out of um, to hear the speakers that you'd like to, to see that day. Um, the next piece is agent panels. We have 12 agent panels. We're super excited about this. The topics um, have been run through over and over again to make sure that they are truly relevant for you guys and building your business. Um, we have six that are running on day one and those will be mixed into the times with the breakout sessions. And then we have six running on day two as well. And the calendar will be on the, the website pretty soon for when those breakout sessions or when those agent panels are. And then finally, we have general session. And like Helen and Hobie mentioned, we have Magic Johnson on day one, which you guys got to get something from that. It's Magic Johnson. I mean, how cool is that hearing from Magic? And then on day two, we have Matt Ferrara doing his keynote, which is called Unlimited You in 2022. Right, so we're really excited to hear from Matt Ferrara, who is always a, a great presenter. So some of the speakers you're gonna be able to hear from on day one, we have Amy Sharu, who's gonna be talking about cryptocurrency and real estate, which I think is really intriguing um, because we are hearing a lot more about that. And quite honestly, I don't, I don't know much about cryptocurrency. So I'm kind of, that's one of those sessions I wanna sneak in. And from what I understand, she's actually going to be giving everybody that goes in is gonna be leaving with some cryptocurrency. So I thought that was pretty neat. We have Mickey Kahn, who's the president of LPI with Leading RE. He's going to be talking about the state of luxury um, when it comes to real estate. We have Nobu Hata, who is going to be talking about digital marketing and competing right now in the, in the world of Amazon and all of online shopping and stuff. How, how do you get your, your marketing, your branding to pop? Um, we have Joe Rand. If you've never heard Joe, and Joe just did our, our webinar on, uh, on getting ready for 2022 and your resolutions, uh, your New Year's resolutions. Joe's gonna be talking about bringing the wow, which is something that right now, it's not enough to meet consumers' expectations. We have to always look at how do we exceed it. Yeah, there's Joe Rand in the comments. That Joe Rand is good. He is pretty good, that Joe Rand. So we have Joe, we have Brett Cawthorpe, um, who is, uh, he's part of Moxie, but he's actually a national speaker. He's gonna be talking about being in the business of people. We have Scott Duger who's coming, who's gonna talk about appraisals, Jessica Edgerton, um, inclusion and diversity, Rebecca Mountain on power productivity. 
Day two, this is when we get into some of the fun ones that I know you're all waiting for. We have Jared James talking about specific ways to get more listings. Uh, we have Marky Lemons, who's talking about online marketing, social media, video, all that fun stuff. She has a three-part series that she's hosting. Terry Watson, if you've never heard Terry Watson, he's a complete ball of energy. You can't help but leave that session without getting excited about real estate. He's doing um, recharge, refocus, and re-engage, and he'll be running that three sessions in a row. So you make sure you you, you have time to go see Terry. We have Paula Montefiore, who's going to be talking about emotional intelligence. Terry Johnson, who is a, uh, a certified ninja trainer. She's going to be talking about thriving in the new abnormal um, and lots more. So like I said, we have 12 different breakout sessions, 12 different panels, uh, tons of stuff going on. We have uh, for the managers, we have a peer group meeting. We have recommended breakouts for them. We have a workshop on day two. Uh, for the mortgage folks, we have workshops on day one and day two, just specifically for our folks that are mortgage professionals throughout the entire family of companies. And then we have specialized tracks that are going to be available on the app that you can go in and you could just select one of these tracks and it'll auto populate it into your calendar. So we're going to have tracks on inclusion and diversity. Uh, commercial real estate for our managers, for our mortgage professionals, for new agents. We have a technology driven track. We have a next level agent track, which is those folks that are looking to escalate their business and get to that top producer level. And then we have the top producer track. What, what's going to help you get to that next step or that next phase or help you identify how to create more efficiencies in your business? So we're, we're really excited. We can't wait to see everybody there. And like I said, we have tons of edu education going on everywhere. Um, you're going to have a lot of different programs that you can, you can go in and check out. Wow, Carl, I am blown away. That is a jam-packed agenda. It is amazing. There is so much that we're offering, something for everyone. Your team has done a fabulous job putting that together. You probably need to take a breath now. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to answer a few questions that came in. We will have coffee, tea, and water. They will be throughout all of the areas for you to grab in between sessions. And there, were also, there will also be concessions available for you to grab a quick snack as uh, you want to pop in so you can make sure you eat your Wheaties to keep up with this lineup that we have going. It's amazing. So our marketing and events team has also been working around the clock to really get things ready. Kathy, can you tell us a little bit about how agents can take their self-promotion to the next level at Hanacon? Absolutely, but it's really hard to follow uh, the enthusiasm that just came out of the education department with Carlton. Um, it's contagious, and thanks for all that because I want to go to all those sessions now, Carlton. Um, so yeah, one of the things as a marketing professional that I look at this, and this will be my first HannahCon, but I've been very, um, very involved in the planning and execution with the team. And to underscore um, Hobie's um, point, many hands make light work. There are so many people that have contributed to this. But one of the things from a marketing perspective I would share with our agents, um, and I hope um, if you're on the fence about going, you know, definitely still register because if you've been wanting to up your marketing game, your self-promotion, this is a perfect launching point, HannahCon, because you're going to be exposed to so many great things and you don't have to do all of them. It could be overwhelming to be exposed to so much and like, where, where do I begin? But I assure you, something is going to resonate with you at HannahCon, you know, whether it's finally, you know, figuring out what this tool or that tool means or or our marketing and uh, productivity platform, uh, there's really going to be something for everybody to, like I said, up your game from, from a marketing standpoint. And also from a marketing standpoint, I, I know that you're all, those that are planning to attend, going to want to be sharing your experience there. Um, I guarantee, you know, our Stronger Together theme, uh, it's not just a clever name. You're going to leave there with a sense of pride uh, that we truly are stronger together. And the marketing team is making all kinds of assets available. Uh, look for that about the week prior. We'll be sending out a link to all kinds of Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook uh, filters and frames and all kinds of assets that you can have at the ready uh, when you arrive and you're going to be wanting to post. Uh, in addition to that, we've got a, a small army of social media content curators that are going to be covering 
uh, the conference from uh, not only you know the great topics for the speakers are going to be uh, covering, but taking a lot of great video and photos, and you know you're going to want to like and share that and spread the world about how awesome HanaCon is. So no shortage of opportunities for you to, like I said, up your game, and no shortage of opportunities for you to spread the uh, word. What a great experience HanaCon is. Kathy, so the marketing department has also found um, a way for us to all stay connected while we're at these jam-packed, amazing, fun-filled two days. Um, tell us a little bit about the app that we'll be able to utilize. Yeah, we're really excited about that. It's not quite ready for prime time, but rest assured we're finishing up its last touches on that. And it's quickly going to become a favorite tool for the course of the uh, conference. Everything that you're going to want to know um, that's currently on hannacon.com right now. So I notice a lot of questions about the, the agenda and the, the speakers and the sessions. All that information is currently on the website right now, but we're going to make it even easier by having an event app. So look for the announcement when that's ready. Um, that'll be going out shortly. And you'll be able to map out and plan your entire experience while you're there. So that's coming soon. That's excellent. And I know I used an app at, I think, our last HannahCon, and it was great because it would send me little reminders. If I wanted to get together with people from my office, I would be able to set up a meet spot. It was wonderful. Um, and there have been questions that we've been receiving as well um, about whether or not everything's going to be recorded. So many of our sessions will be recorded and they will be on um, Hanna University for us to refer to, but there's nothing like being there in person and collaborating with people and meeting other people and all of the other things that go on outside of uh, that uh, session being videoed. So that is a great um, overview. Kathy, thank you very much. I, can, I know people will be taking their personal marketing to a whole new level and get so many different ideas on how they can leverage things. I think we have a few more questions. Let me check really quick. Um, about yeah, I got a private Nevada question. just oh, sorry, Kate. Nevada um, just lifted the um mask requirements, but we're waiting to hear from the Venetian on what their policy will be. Um, because individual businesses can still make their own, so we'll keep you all updated. Uh, don't worry about that so that you know exactly what to. Uh, expect, but obviously um, feel free to um, to use your discretion and, and mask up if it is not something that's required, if that makes you more comfortable. Kate, did you have something else to add? Yeah, I got a private question. Um, so just a reminder, guys, it, just so that we can keep track of all these, if you put your questions in the Q&A at the bottom, um, it's a little bit easier to track, but um, so the app, how will we get it? Is it downloaded from the app when it's ready? Um, what what can we have more on the app? Yes, when it will be available in the app store and we'll make an announcement when it's ready and we'll make sure to use multiple means of communication so you don't miss that announcement. And like I said, it's really close. Uh, and as soon as it's ready, you'll, you'll be hearing from us and you'll be able to download it at the app store. And that does have the whole agenda and all the speakers. It's, it's basically like that, that agenda website, but it's personalized in the app form. So it's-, it's And you can walk app. around with it on your phone. It's gonna be super simple. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Carlton, I don't know if you wanted to add anything. You've been an integral to that as well. Yeah, no, it's just, it's like I said, you're gonna have some different recommended tracks. So you'll be able to select the track. So if, if you're a mortgage professional or if you're a new agent, um, you're going to be able to, you know, select which track you want. And what it'll do is auto populate it right into your schedule. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you allow notifications. So that way the app helps keep you guys on track and letting you know what's going on and where to be. So you'll be able to put your whole schedule and kind of control Hanacon right, right through the app. Uh, the other part that I like about it is, is like Kate and everybody mentioned, um, you know, setting up meetings. If you want to connect with other people, or if there's somebody that you've done referrals with, and you really want to make sure that you you get five minutes with them and catch up and have a cup of coffee or something like find them on the app and then make sure you guys connect through there. So it, it'll be a lot of fun to have those connections and to also with everything happening, you know, just kind of have that digital assistant helping to keep you on track so you don't you don't miss out on anything. Carl, that's great. Um, don't forget that 
Kate has included the uh, website, the Hannah Khan website in the chat so that if you have any other follow-up questions, because I know when Carl was going through all the speakers, it was hard to keep all of that. It was so robust that if you want to go back and refer to anything, it's all right there at your fingertips. So, um, okay, I'm a list maker. Kate knows that. And so I created a top 10 list to help you get the most out of Hannah Khan. So one second, Lee, I got to get my sound on because this is I'm excited for this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I have sound effects. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't mess around. Oh, Helen, do you have your hand up? Did Helen have her hand up? I'm sorry. I think she does, but we can't hear you, Helen. You're muted. Go ahead, Kate, you're more important. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Leah, whenever you're ready, I'll, I'll start your list. All right, so my top 10 list to help you get the most out of HannahCon starts with number 10. Bring a lot of business cards with you to HannahCon. I'm talking at least 100 business cards because you're going to meet new agents in every session that you attend. And I want you to have that opportunity to build your referral network and get to meet new people throughout all of our footprints. So pack a lot of business cards. So number nine. I want you to post and go live from Hannah Khan. Let your sphere know that you're elevating your market knowledge to bring them an enhanced client experience. You're gonna feel that energy that's going on there. So do a live, do a post. There's gonna be so many opportunities for you to communicate with your sphere and let them know that you are there taking your skill set to the next level. So number eight, one of my favorites, the Bop Shop. You have to get to the bop shop early so you can stock up on your Hannah swag. Now, let's all remember, we all love Hannah swag. There's great stuff. But this is how people get business in their communities when you're wearing something to one of your children's games or at the dog park or something like that. You have all this Hannah swag. And so the latest and greatest stuff will be there at the bop shop in Vendor Village for you. So get there early and stock up on, on the most requested items. Uh, number seven, map out your game plan with your office. So I love to do this when I was an office manager. I would love to have everyone that was attending take different sessions so that they could take notes. And then we could take that information in our sales meetings and really review that information and then leverage all the stuff that we learned for weeks and weeks after HannahCon. So all the people that are going, sign up for different sessions. Carl mentioned that there are different tracks. So take the classes that you think are gonna be most impactful for you, take notes, get all of the um, collateral pieces that they have, and then share those with everyone in your office um, after HannahCon. Number six, set aside time to visit your core service partners. They're going to have some great stuff. We have the legendary money booth. They're going to be there. You'll get to meet everyone, talk to them. And then um, also you'll have a bunch of different classes that are going on in Vendor Village. So you can stop into the Greenness Bar and Kate and Kevin have all these classes that they're doing. You can scan a QR code, get all their collateral information. You can go and spend some time with some of our vendors uh, like uh, Chris Gunn from Moxie. He'll be on Vendor Village stage and he'll be digging into some different new things that you can do through the Moxie platform. So you're gonna get a lot of great tips in there as well. Number five, this is just good business. Bring a charger, wear comfortable shoes and pack a snack for, so you're ready for the long haul. Now we know that we're gonna have beverages available. There are concessions available, but there's so much you're not gonna wanna miss a minute in between these different sessions and you're gonna wanna take in all that you can. So make sure you've got your phone charged so you can go live and that you're not missing out on managing your business while you're away as well. So number four, stay connected with your office through the convention app. That's a great way for you to be connected with your team because let's face it, we're in Vegas. So saying where you wanna meet, if you wanna um, grab seats to sit next to each other in the general sessions, um, make sure that you use that app and leverage it so you can stay connected. Number three, be a sponge. Take in as many new ideas and techniques as possible. There's so much 
to take in. And even if you think, I don't know if that's something I would do, write it down because there may be a twist on that that you have that would be a great fit in your business. Number two, this is from a past Hanacon when we had Ryan Avery, who was one of our speakers. He said, what's your walkout with? So I want you all to zero in on your walkout with, your wow. It's the thing that you're walking away, your takeaway from every session. If you think about all the lineup of all the activities that Carl went over and all the opportunities that we have, if you even just get one thing from each session that you attend, at the end of the day, you're taking away at least a dozen different ideas and things that you can incorporate into your business. If that's not powerful, I don't know what is. So zero in on your wow. And number one, Leah, you gotta take a breath. You gotta take a breath because I got a drum roll. Oh my goodness. Oh, it didn't work, Doug. Darn it. I had a drum roll. I was so excited for everyone. That's okay, Kate. Everybody do a little drum roll in your head. (laughs) (laughs) The number one thing that I want you to do to leverage HannahCon is to bring your positive attitude and have fun. I have to tell you, the energy in the room will be contagious through the general sessions from the speakers to the parties. If you've never been to a Hannah party yet, you are going to be amazed. I'm telling you, it is so much fun. The music is great. The food is great. The networking is great. It's just amazing. And so bring your positive attitude, connect in with the energy. So that, Kate, is my top 10 list for how you can get the most out of Hanukkah this year. And I wanted to mention there was a couple questions that came in through the chat. One, that will be part of the follow-up with the, the FAQ as well. So you guys can have all of those, um, that Leah's list. Um, I love alliteration. That was perfect. Leah's list for Hanukkah of what you need to do. Um, and then uh, there was a question, Carlton just put it in the chat for everyone. Um, someone asked about um, Tate and Tucker gear, and that will be available as well. Um, so that's awesome. The Bob shop is is for all of the hand holdings. And then Carlton, the hours, if you could just give that again for everyone for the Bob shop. Yeah, the hours are uh, the same time frame, I believe, as Vendor Village is open. So on, on day one, it's, you know, registration opens at 830 and it closes up you know, probably a few minutes before general session. So what does day one go until, uh, I guess, 3.30, 3.45? And then day two, it'll be open from 8.30 to uh, 1.45. You will be able to shop till you drop at the Bob shop. That is for sure, as well as our other vendors in Vendor Village. Hey, oh, Leah, Helen's you got can... her hand up. And when Helen answers this, um, When I see your hand up, Helen, there is just one more time if you could go through the dress code. We just got another question when you're done with with your comment about the the whole event. Now, can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Just a couple of things. So I'll address the last one first, okay? Which the Bop Shop is, all of Vendor Village is open during the party. It's called the Vendor Village Party. We have it there. And they will be there that night. As I said, some of them will be giving away prizes. So it doesn't close at 3.30. And registration stays open all morning for those that sleep in, perhaps. I don't know how you can do that in Vegas your first day, because we're all coming across the country. But uh, but anyway, so registration will stay open. Uh, this is our first year that we will be all digital. We are not doing a printed program. Uh, that's pretty exciting for us to try that this year. But that goes along with your app. So just to be aware of that, that uh, we'll be communicating digitally with you throughout the conference. Um, And um, Nevada did drop the mask. So we're clear Nevada has dropped it. We just haven't heard from the nation yesterday. Nevada no longer requires it. So we assume the other will come through. And then um, the question I had right now was um, on the dress code. Again, business casual all day, every day. Okay. And, um, and the evenings, the first night, which is Wednesday, I said Tuesday, somebody pointed out to me, Wednesday all day, business casual, right through the party that night. Tuesday, uh, for those of you attending the gala, it is cocktail, which means guys, no ties, um, unless you want to wear one. And uh, the ladies uh, will be in cocktail clothes and some of those will be long and some of those will be short and some of them will be mini and some of them will be in between. But um, we, we find that our ladies dress up and our men don't. But that's the world today, isn't it? And that's the world in Vegas. The first time we went there, my husband said, it's amazing. Men wear jeans and t-shirts. 
and they're hand in hand with a woman who's in an evening gown. So um, it's sort of a little bit of everything, but we want you to be comfortable at the convention center because we have a lot going on and a lot of moving around. You want to hit things. And then finally, the Bop Shop will also have branded items for our partners. So it doesn't have to be just Howard Hanna. So, you know, okay. Anything else? I'll be happy to listen to uh, more. Thank you. Back to Thank Kate. you, Helen. That was great. Kate, do we have any additional questions that have filtered in through the chat? I'm not seeing anything in the Q&A. No, I answered, I think I answered them um, for the most part uh, that this, the swag, um, the masks, recordings. Um, I think if uh, any other questions for um, anyone out there, if you wanted to put your questions um, in the chat or the Q&A at the moment, I can get those answers. And, and I don't know if there's any last minute things that anyone on the panel wanted to um, share. Hey, uh, Kate, I just wanted to add something that for those of you who know Vegas as a world-class shopping destination beyond the Bop Shop and um, the, the knives and things at and Vendor Village, um, we actually will have a really great QR code that's going to be in your check-in welcome bag. And that's going to be for a special discount for all the stores that are affiliated with the Venetian. So look for that as well. Some really great shopping opportunities. And I just wanted to mention too, with the, the mask mandate, we wanna make sure that, that folks that do wanna be socially distanced have that opportunity in the breakout session. So we've set it up in a way that each of those breakout rooms that we have are on the larger size. Um, and we have seating for about 150 to 250. But then we also have seating set up in the back away from the group up front. So for anybody that would like to be socially distanced or practice that, you have that opportunity um, to feel safe and, and feel how you, you'd like to in that session. We do have a question in the Q&A. Someone wants to know if the Venetian will provide robes. They don't want to have to pack their robe when they are wanting to put their feet up at the end of the day. Do we have any idea on that? <laughs> no, but we can check. We'll find out. That's for sure. They're gonna be so busy doing all the Hanacon things that when it's time to relax, they really wanna they really wanna relax. So we will get um, we will get those answers out. And then is the, the robe other... part of the dress code? Are they allowed to wear that? <laughs> <laughs> at the Maybe breakout the sessions. <laughs> That's a whole I'm new take on business casual. <laughs> um, and Venetian then Charlene casual. just asked about um, the app one more time. So Kathy has um, assured us that, that communication will go out. Um, it will be, you will know when the app is ready and it will be at the app store. Yeah, so stay tuned. You'll find out all about that app. And if you can't tell, all of us are over the moon excited about HanaCon. I mean, when I say it is the real estate event of the year, it is. Um, we even, I heard it from another broker this week that I was talking to that said, your, your convention like blows away anything else that's done nationally. And it really does. So I want you to know that we believe it will be a game changer in your business. And we're thrilled to see you all and network and show how we are so much stronger together with all of us. Helen. Just one more time. They said that Vegas was a shopping mecca. Just be sure to note, it's a shopping mecca for everything you want, okay? And for those of you that are coming early, remember there's old Vegas, there's zip lining, there are helicopters. There's so much to do in Vegas in itself. Um, there's a Ferris wheel that is great. It's, it's huge as you get inside it. But, um, but don't overlook having some fun while you're there, by the way. We, we want you to have a good time. Vegas is a late night place and it's an early morning place. And then finally, the one thing that I think is important that Carlton didn't tell us, when you go to a national convention, the, you apply to speak at an NAR convention as you do to many big conventions. And they don't pay you because you're there to try to get hired to speak more often, all right? We pay our speakers. And I think that's incredibly important. So they're not there to give their message, they're there to give a message for you of what you can do, not just to sell you more things, but to really give you help to build your career. And that's what this is about. We don't do this just for fun, even though we have so much fun. We do it to help all of our team get to the next level. And so my message to all of you is, um, you know, uh, we're here to help you meet your goals in 2022. And, uh, and that's really what the drive is. And I love your top 10, Lisa, so post that. I will. 
And don't forget that, yes, we have these great national speakers, but the tips you're going to get from your colleagues that are in the field, that are our top performers, that are doing this every day while you are, that's just priceless. I mean, that's my favorite part. Yes, I love the national speakers, but our own agent panels, that's where it's at, people. That's where you're going to hear the um, game changer info. And Leah, the best part about that is for the first time, you know, because we're incorporating Rand, Tucker, Tate, everybody, like those panels, those agent panels, you're going to hear from really strong producers across the whole country, across, you know, the, the, the global um, aspect of, of Howard Hanna. So you're going to get different perspectives of how, how folks are doing it um, in different market areas. And like you said, those agent panels, you're going to get so much from those. It's the real estate event of the year. Uh, we did I ask everybody to just do one other thing. I would like before we close everybody to applaud because I want that to go back to Kathy and the marketing team, especially, I don't think Angela's on the call, but they have answered the question. We have robes, um, but, uh, but to Carlton and Kathy and Leah and their teams that have worked so hard on this, really, I don't think you, you really understand. So, um, okay, banging hands together says to Joe Rand. So. Thank you. Please carry that back. And uh, to the people behind the scenes, Angela, who most of you don't know, uh, and her team that do all the background stuff that have your bags ready for you, your badges, everything. So exciting times ahead. Can't Thanks. wait to see you all in Vegas. Yeah, thank you, everyone. And it's going to be a, a great time. And we'll see you all soon in Vegas. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye now.